Sibelius first symphony is kind of like the unfinished Tchaikovsky's seventh in a way. It actually feels that that's about where it's starting. It's almost starting where the pathetique seemed to leave off from the, the dying away s sounds at the end of the sixth symphony. You have the same sort of low timpani sound and the clarinet just emerging with this extraordinary solo that is both dark and melancholy and yet has moments of lightness that seem to then fade away. I think probably the most extraordinary moment is after all of this sort of darkness and shadow at the very beginning and very much like you can get in Scandinavia where it's the cloud cover seems to be miles thick. Suddenly there's this opening and the sun in the guise of the first and second violins comes in in a just blazing major chord. Exactly as though a whole field of water that, that a second ago looked completely dark was illuminated with thousands and thousands of uh, amperes of light from the sun and the entire thing is blazing and you reach for your dark glasses. It's just an amazing sort of moment and this type of contrast uh, between one emotion and the other, both being stark and being lonely and then yet being completely convivial and having a sense of um, resigned tragedy and yet at the same time defiant exuberance is one of the things that makes it such an amazing symphony to play and to bring all of the things together and and so in a sense it finishes what might seem a very unfinished program starting with the Schubert. It very definitely takes us to the end of the whole cycle.